Hello, welcome back. Tactical Tuesday with Johnny Tiger. On January eighteen, twenty twenty-two. So I just took a look at the channel earlier, and I saw that there's over eight hundred videos. Wow. Boy, do I ever feel good about that. I mean, I didn't realize that I have done that many.、Uh, so yeah, that that surprised the heck out of me.、Uh, but then I was thinking, we have been out of these eight hundred or so videos. There's a lot of techniques in these tactical Tuesdays or survival Saturdays, and it wouldn't surprise me if myself included. Uh, people have been building up a little bit of ha- bad habits here and there. After all, I'm not there in person to work with you all the time. So today I want to、um, go back to basic and talk about three of the most common bad habits that I, I come across in training people.、Uh, things that really should be ironed out of your system,、uh, so you don't do these things when you actually need to use your Fist or your leg or your elbow for self-defense,、uh, and so today we are going to talk about them. Of course, there's a lot more、uh, problematic things that you come across during your training, but let's take these、uh, as、uh, some of the uh, first uh, sets of things that we need to look at. Number one, quite often when people throw their uppercut. If you ask the person, especially a person who's been training, to throw an uppercut, a proper uppercut, if you turn, you tell them to go throw a proper uppercut, they may do it properly, bending their leg, driving up from the hip, uppercut into the target. Okay, that's a proper uppercut. But a lot of time, and like I said, myself included, I do that sometimes. Into, uh, uh, when people are Sparring or doing their pad work. Let's say you say you you call a jab hook uppercut, jab hook uppercut, and there it is. What happened? Jab hook uppercut. I didn't do a proper uppercut. I just lower my hand and uppercut. Didn't use my hip. Didn't bend my leg whatsoever. This is really really problematic because when you are used to doing this kind of uppercut. This will translate to other things. Whenever you need to、uh, hit below the chest level, you are going to drop your hand, leaving this entire section from your chest up open for your opponent. This is extremely dangerous stuff, right? A lot of people will get knocked out because of that. A lot of people,、uh, especially you run into someone who's trained, who's very disciplined. They look for that moment your hand go down. Okay, so we need to work on rather than throwing our punches by dropping our hand. We want to keep our hand where it is and drop our body, our level by lowering our whole body by going to deeper squat and stand up, squat and stand up. Okay. The hand will still kind of drop a little bit, but it's not going to go down to the belly level, right? This is super, super important, and this translate, this whole thing translate to other things too. Let's say a lot of people when they're going to throw a jab at someone's face, and if you say, okay, I want you to jab him in the stomach, they'll do this, drop their hand and jab to the stomach. Now, if you're super, super fast, you might get away with it. But only a couple of times, because after that, people are going to be looking for that. So rather than dropping your hand for the jab, when you're throwing that low jab, you need to drop your center. You need to drop your body. Okay,、right? bend your leg. Actually, bend your leg. Okay,、right? use your hip. Use your knee. Bend your knee. Bend your hip. Jab, 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 jab. Okay. Don't just drop your hand. Very, very dangerous stuff. Now to practice this at home, luckily it's easy to do. Let me show you guys. 
we'll just we won't complicate things. We'll just throw the jab cross, jab cross. While you're throwing the jab cross, jab cross, start going into a squat, going down to one knee, going down to both knee. Keep throwing those jab cross, coming up, coming up, going down, going down, going up, going up. Now switch your hook, 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 hook. The whole time I'm throwing hook, my arms stay where they stay, where they are. I'm just moving the rest of my body so my level change. Okay? Those of you that have eyesight, look in the mirror to see if you can spot your arm dropping, to see if you can spot that opening. Because if you can, your opponent will too. Number two, this one, I don't know who started this, but uh, we're seeing more and more of this on the uh, uh, street brawls and uh, people who fight on the street, they'll do this and it's incredibly stupid. Probably came from an old uh, Chinese Kung Fu movie or something. So when people try to evade their opponent, now a lot of times they, they won't move out of the way. Instead, they'll lean away from the punch. So someone come and throw a punch at my head, I'll lean back like that. See? Does it look cool? Yeah, it looks really cool. Is that uh, really uh, uh, good on saving energy? Yeah, it's good on saving energy. But you're setting yourself up for a lot of hurt. This is why. If I'm fighting someone like Bruce, okay, and I go in and attack him and he just leans his upper body back, that doesn't take him out of danger zone. He thinks he's out of danger zone, but from the waist down, the leg, everything is still here. So my punch may miss his head, but then all I have to do is dive down, grab his leg, and next thing he's on the ground, right? So don't give yourself that illusion. Just because you lean your body out of the way, doesn't mean you're out of danger. The rest of your body is still there. So rather than trying to do that weird leaning thing, I've seen people do it the other way too. Sometimes when people try to hit someone, like uh, let's say I want to hit Bruce, and Bruce is just out of my reach. Some people, they'll lean forward and do that. They'll lean forward and punch like that. Again, really bad idea. Really bad idea. Because when you're leaning forward like this, your balance is off. So if you miss your punch, or the person kick your ankle while you're doing that, down you go, okay? So when you're fighting, when you're in a fight, don't do this leaning thing, right? If you have to get out of the way, step, shuffle, jump, skip, right? Duck properly, but don't lean, because if your shoulders, this is all about center line, the moment you lean, your shoulders are beyond the boundary of your feet, which means your balance is way off to one side. All it takes is one kick to the leg, one push to the chest, down you go. Okay, so don't do that leaning stuff. I had a guy I trained with who was really good at what he did, but unfortunately he uh, got into this bad habit of leaning. So whenever someone uh, try to throw a punch at his head, he'd lean down like this, it, almost like he's taking a bow. Uh, in the end, he got concussion, really bad concussion. That's the one time when someone tried to punch him in the face, he leaned over like this, and then that person kicked him right in the face. The moment he leaned over, kick him in the face. Okay, very dangerous stuff. So when you're fighting, don't lean. Uh, if you have to get out of the way, get out of the way by stepping, by shuffling, by skipping. Uh, move your whole body, not just your upper body. Number three. A lot of time, when people throw 
elbows. They will stand where they are and either swing the arm and elbow, maybe twist the waist a little bit, or if they're out of reach, they'll do this again. We go back to your leaning nonsense. They'll lean and elbow. They'll lean and elbow. Okay? These are bad elbow forms, right? If you're just hitting a punching bag who's not going to hit back, then you just stand here, elbow, elbow, elbow. That's no, no problem with that, right? But if you're dealing with someone who's going to get pissed off and he start hitting back, then you don't want to do that. But the proper way to deliver an elbow is with footwork. What do I mean by that? The, rather than just throwing my arm and twist my body, which is all good idea, I want to add a little step forward. I'm going to step elbow, step elbow, step elbow. Okay? As you can see, what happened there? When I elbow, I miss my target. But because I have that step in there, it allow me to recover instantly with my balance. If I was standing still and I do the I'm off balance because I my body is torquing to the side, right? So standing still or leaning while you're throwing your elbow is really, really bad idea. So when you throw your elbow, I know it's a little bit more tiring, but add a little step forward. Step, elbow, step, elbow, step, elbow, step, elbow, step, elbow, right? Like I said, there are a lot of little bad habits that creep up during our training and uh, take us by surprise. I'm not immune to them myself either. Um, so hopefully these uh, three little pointers will give you something to watch for next time you're training and hopefully they'll help you fine tune your technique. Thank you for checking out today's Tactical Tuesday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Wisdom Wednesday.